going on everybody? Seth Miranda, this is Adorama Rewind. There is a lot of stuff going on this week. Let's get through it, some controversy. So a lot of Twitter worries type stuff, a lot of uh, philosophies flying around there. So Fox News asked the photographer if they could use one of their photos. The photographer said, hey, nope, not into it. Uh, I don't believe in your news source. But they liked AP and they gave it to AP to use and AP turned around and sold it to Fox News. Uh, the only regret this person seems to have is they wish they asked for a little bit of monetary value from AP if it was gonna go anywhere that wasn't from AP. Uh, so watch who you're throwing your images around to. You know, it's just like anything else. If they have it, they can do what they want with it, kind of. Um, or maybe not. Let's talk about that in the comments. Another piece of controversy that happened out there. Uh, if you are a photographer out there wondering if there's still an industry, if it's hard for you to make a living, if you're having a hard time with your business model, this company th thinks they have the answer, but at a very high controversy. So they raised $1.5 million to offer pro level high end production photos for just $20 each, $20 to $100. Um, what you get is an hourly wage as a photographer. So what they're saying is, is right here, if you see right here, it says, we hire photographers, stylists, models, and editors, bring together all the talent necessary to shoot high quality photos for your product. So what is this? Let's break this down because a lot of people jumped like, what, you're only paying photographers $20 a photo? How can you make a living wage? Well, what they're really doing is kind of like a half stock agency. If you're a startup company out there and you need content like for social, for your website, that's the world we're living in, but you can't afford it because it's only five of you in a WeWork station somewhere. Uh, you can go ahead and go to these people and they will set up a shoot for you and you pay for what images you want out of it and the photographer will just get their hourly wage for the shoot. What that hourly wage is, I don't know, I couldn't tell you. I hope it's good um, if this is the business model that's gonna go forward. Uh, we don't know if it's sustainable. A lot of really high-end pro photographers out there that are well known are taking a tour to tell you this is not sustainable. It is a laughing matter as a joke to what you think photographers should get paid. Uh, what do you guys think about it? I mean, I'm a working pro photographer and I can tell you that this kind of scares me a little bit, but if that hourly wage is something sustainable, it's a steady job at that point. You're on staff, give or, give or take. You know, it's kind of more like independent contracting, but we won't get into that. So do you think this is a killer for the industry or do you think that this is a savior? They're claiming it's a savior point. Uh, commercial pro photographers are saying it's a killer. Um, in the end, we, you just have to decide, uh, the, we just have to decide, is this gonna be sustainable? Is this the way things are gonna go? And if so, it'll get refined by more companies offering this type of service. So it's kind of like a custom stock agency, I guess you'd say, but it's more affordable for today's startup world, I guess. Very controversial, I know, I know. Calm down, breathe. Uh, just to let you all know, if you're a Fuji film shooter out there and you picked up the new X-T3, we were all very excited that it started uh, working with Capture One, but there is a glitch. So in crop mode, where you can use 30 frames per second, uh, you start getting these purple images on the raw files, but the JPEGs seem to save fine uh, from what we're being told. So shoot raw plus JPEG for right now, but Fujifilm and Capture One are both well aware of this glitch. They are on, they are, they are out there trying to fix it right now. So uh, hang tight, X-T3 is still a beast of a camera. Fujifilm's doing a great job, Capture One, amazing, and together we'll get this solved, I promise. Uh, speaking of camera companies, Young Nuo, a Chinese company that's known for making some pretty affordable stuff out there, is making an Android-based interfaced mirrorless camera with an EF mount for Canon lenses. This is pretty crazy. So it's called the YN450 right now. They have taken to Facebook to let you decide what the name for this camera should be. I'm pretty curious what those names will be, but here's the spec list that we know as of yet. Um, 30 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes internal memory. So I guess there's no card slot on that one. I get, and raw support. So we also have 4K, 30 frames per second, dual mic for stereo sound. Uh, to me, it just seems like a uh, cell phone that can take an EF lens um, as far as the interface goes. What the power behind that, what the processor speed behind that is, I don't know. Uh, but I think it's gonna be what's the price point, right? So if it's under the radar a little bit, it might be a, an option for some people out there or if someone who's just used to shooting on a phone, this might be their next evolution of their game. I don't know, I don't know. What do you think about this? Let's talk about it down there. But as far as, uh, and let's wrap up the camera news. There is a new instant camera out there on Kickstarter that is called the Oscura Instant 60S. Really fun camera. Look at how pretty this thing is. So it's a hand crank instant camera, meaning that there's no batteries in there, there's no motor. You just load the film, take the shot, and when you're ready, you just start cranking it out like that. And 
Of course, there's no batteries. You never have to worry about if, if it has power in it. Um, it is a little bit slower of a workflow, so it's more for fun. Uh, look at that cute little flash you go with the diffuser. It's adorable, beautiful colors. It is on Kickstarter right now. So if you guys want to get in on it, I believe $48 uh, donation will get you one of these units when they arrive. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that. I love instant film. If you're an instant film fiend like me, I'm sure that's an easy pickup for you. Uh, as far as analog goes, there is some new 35 millimeter film out there on the market, kids, and it's a really fun one. Double Film has put out this uh, new film called Jelly, which actually does this. It is a pre-exposed film. It's kind of like the light leak days of the old Holgas and the, and the Lomo cameras, um, letting in random rainbow streaks across your film. There's no telling where it's going to hit on the image. There's no telling what colors or whatever, but it seems pretty... Um, uh, apparent but not overwhelming for the image. So that's kind of exciting, right? So if you're into that alternative processy look, I think that's a pretty, um, pretty viable option for you. Plus it's film, it's just fun to screw around with it. And um, you know, the more you guys buy into these types of films, the more they'll make more interesting stuff. I always mess with my film. Uh, I used to hit it with heat guns before I loaded it. I do all sorts of stuff uh, just to see what would happen to the emulsion because it's its own organic feel, you know? So. Uh, that's a pre-exposed film, so there is some level of control on their end as far as how crazy it gets, so you don't need to have like a light leaky camera or a plastic lens. You can throw it into a high-end camera and still get that look. You know, use your Nikon F6 and throw this film in there and get that type of look. Uh, and, uh, so that's pretty much it for the news. Let's talk about what's going on on our channel. So if you go to Adorama TV on YouTube, which is what we're on right now, uh, you can check out what we just did with the Sony B Alpha event right here in New York City. This is Brooke Shaden talking about her uh, self-portraits, uh, doing her digital processing to them, making them creepy and moody and showing uh, and really talking about her philosophy behind it and what she's thinking about. This is at a, an event that we threw with Sony a few blocks down from the Adorama NYC store. So be on the looks for that. If you're in New York, we have a lot of cool events. Uh, don't sleep on that. Uh, also... I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I have a series on Adorama TV. And I want to thank all you guys for um, checking it out and writing comments and hitting like and stuff like that. So it's more of a vloggy style uh, a series. It's really about working in the game and what I do with every actual job. So this is me at Photokina shooting live for the Last of Light booth uh, in Cologne, Germany with Cassidy Rose. So this is more of a vloggy style, as I said. I'm talking right to the... Right to the um, right to the camera, and you get to see what it's really like behind the brain, so to speak, when you get these type of uh, gigs and type of experiences. Uh, about five episodes deep, I believe. Uh, every Sunday I'm dropping new ones, so I would really appreciate you guys checking those out. Talk to me in the comments, and um, I'll try to get you uh, whatever you guys want to see out there. So let us know what you're feeling. What I know you, you're, you're quick to tell us what you're not feeling, but Let's talk around in the comments. Let's talk about this uh, new $19 per photo deal. Is that something you would jump on? Are you a photographer that's having a hard time with your business model and you're going, I could use an hourly wage to do this type of stuff? Uh, how do you feel about AP selling that photo to Fox News? Was that a little shady or is that just the game? The X-T3, were you guys aware of this uh, glitch or bug out there? Um, how about that new Oscura instant camera? Were you going to pick that up and maybe some of that jelly film? I'm going to pick up some of that jelly film, I'll be honest with you. I'm totally going to do it. And I might even go hit up Kickstarter and see what other cameras are out there. All right, guys, that's it for me. I just want to say I really appreciate everything you guys uh, give us because we can't exist without you guys. So hit me up in the comments. Let's talk about it. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Peace.